Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today we're in the collection space with another cool object. Uh, this is a World War II era U.S. Navy Bureau of Ordnance AA range indicator, Mark I Mod 1, made by the A.C. Gilbert Company of New Haven, Connecticut, 1944, to be held 24 inches from the eye. This is a device to help you uh, identify the range to enemy aircraft, and this is important for anti-aircraft gunners on ships like New Jersey because they had to be able to tell how far away an aircraft was, calculate how quick it was coming towards you uh, so that you could properly set a time-delayed fuse to explode in front of that aircraft. It becomes less important with the development of the VT fuse, the variably timed fuse, which has basically a radar in its nose cone and is able to uh, detect an enemy aircraft and go off on its own. So you no longer have to uh, set a timer in the fuse. But uh, particularly early war, this was vitally important. Um, and I've seen a lot of pictures of the crew training with these to make sure they got it right. So basically, on the face of it, we've got a number of the common types of Axis aircraft that you would see uh, as an anti-aircraft gunner. So things like the uh, Measuresmith 110, Measuresmith 109, uh, Junkers JU-88, JU-87, uh, the Japanese Zero, the Japanese Type 98, the Type 97, some Italian aircraft like the uh, Cant Z-506B, and the uh, S-79, all very common Axis bombers and fighters that you would see over the water if you're doing, uh, if you're doing convoy escorts or operating in the middle of the Pacific. And basically, uh, you're using the known or estimated length of wind, wingspan for these aircraft, and you're holding this 24 inches from your face, and uh, you're looking at it, okay, it is a zero, and there's this, these two wires inside that as you move the dial, they get closer or further apart. So if I, I'm looking at a zero right there, and that's where the wingspan is, that tells me it is 10,000 yards away, or five miles. As it gets closer, the wings get bigger, and I can see that by turning this wheel, so that the wings are constantly filling the space between this. Uh, and then that is letting me know, all right, the, the aircraft is coming in this fast. Uh, we, we have an estimate of how fast the zero goes. We have an estimate of what its wingspan is. So uh, basically, you're doing by eye what the ship's range finders for the larger guns are designed to do mechanically. So let's show you how this works. Here you've got the device about 24 inches from the lens. And you're moving this dial with your thumb to see how far you are from various aircraft. In training, this would be done with silhouettes of aircraft. And uh, there were books of silhouettes of Axis and, and friendly aircraft for that matter, because you've got to be able to recognize your own, that would, uh, show you the aircraft at various different headings. So you could look at it nose on if it's coming towards you. Uh, you could look at it going at an angle if it's maneuvering. And uh, so a lot of images I've seen, uh, obviously they weren't taking too many images in combat. A lot of images I've seen are of a group of maybe a dozen gunners lined up on the deck, all holding these out at 24 inches arm's length and uh, somebody holding a card up. And I imagine the exercise was to uh, identify what that aircraft is so that you know which dial on here you're using for the 60 foot wingspan aircraft or the 90 foot wingspan aircraft or the 45 or 75 foot wingspan aircraft. And uh, once you had identified the aircraft and knew which quadrant of this you're using, you can then see what the range is. This is a really cool object that shows you what uh, it was like when all of these systems were still manual and the Mark I human eyeball was still king. 
Of course, by the end of the ship's career, uh, close-in anti-aircraft work was not done by manually fired guns. It was done by the ship's phalanx, which has its own onboard radar system that can not only track the enemy aircraft, but its own outgoing rounds and make sure that those two points meet up. So uh, this concept of warfare, visually judging the range to a target so that you know how to angle your gun or your bow or your javelin or the stone that Kane is throwing at Abel, uh, has all but disappeared on warships today, but was once a huge part of your training and a very important thing for you to know in combat. How good are you at identifying Axis aircraft? We're going to flash three recognition silhouettes on the screen, and then I'll tell you what they are afterwards. See if you're right. The first one was a Japanese Zero. The second one was a German Ju-87 Stuka. You probably got that from the fixed landing gear and the uh, goal wing. I hope you didn't shoot at that third one. That was actually a Dauntless Dive Bomber. How'd you do? Let us know in the comments section down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, and also from a number of private businesses and individuals like yourselves. And the support that you've given us over the last year has allowed us to make way more videos than we were, and it allows us to play with cool uh, artifacts like this one in our collection for you to learn about. Thank you for your continued support. There's a link down in the description if you'd like to help us out. You can also help us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people hear about us. And that'll notify you when we're posting all that new content we make. Thanks for watching.